What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mixed Cocktail Hour. I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Thank you. The I last mean, poet barman. I mean, do we do we look 80s or what? I mean, I'm feeling very Cruise currently. Very, very Tom Cruise. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever seen... Ever seen your hair Big that fluffy? Smile. Yes, I, it's super fluffy. I don't think I've ever seen my hair this No, fluffy. it's looking very nice. Very nice. You are every crush I've ever had uh, when I was uh, from uh, like six to eight. You got it. There you go. You nailed it. Yeah? How are you feeling? I'm feeling very 80s. I'm feeling very feel good, like, actually. Yeah, I feel me like too. I feel like we are uh, we are right in my prime time. Yeah. I was the best in the 1980s. You were? I was the greatest. I was one of the greatest. Uh, it was just like a good time. Yeah. I was uh, zero to eight. Yeah. Yeah, in the 1980s. And that was great. You had a good time. I mean, it hasn't gotten better. So yeah. maybe, maybe it will get better at some point. Yeah. Um, Want to give a quick shout out to everybody. Danny's in the house. Um, also, uh, Dixie and Larry, happy birthday, Dixie. We love you so much. Uh, my brother Tex is in the house. Whoop whoop. Jen's here. Mila. Uh, who else we got? Carl Tender. Oh, speaking of Carl Tender. Yeah. I, what a fantastic show. Lots of love to Carl Tender. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, for being such a fan yeah. and, and making a drink for me for my birthday last he did, Friday. Uh, he did leave this. I was going to say, oh, do you have the picture for me to sign? Uh, I will here for sign you to that. sign. Yeah, because Beautiful. he uh, definitely sent this back with me. Yes. To make sure that we got this signed. I will sign Thank it. Thank you. Carl yeah. Tender, you will get the signed picture. Perfect. I promise. Okay. Uh, today's all about 80s. Yes. But um, before we start off, I would like to do a little intro about something fun that happened today. Great. In history. Okay. Because I do know, you know, one thing that did happen in history, and I don't, I don't want to take this away. What? Uh, this is the day that Hitler died. Correct. Is that not a that's not a that's not a fun thing? I was not going. Okay, to no, I was going to say go down that I didn't. Road. I just I wanted to steer you away from that. As an that, Austrian, as an Austrian, wasn't going to go down that road. That was my thought, Tammy, but, but I had no idea where you were going with your history. No. Yeah. Okay. Other things happened. Yes. No. I know. Today in history, um, we're going to go into the 1950s. Oh, good. Right, this is fun. This is a fun fact. Yeah. So in the 1950s. TV ads were coming out, so because people were getting more and more television, sure. you know, from, going, going from radios yeah. to TVs. And today, in 1952, um, a toy—it was—it was the premiere for a toy to have an ad on television in 1952. The, sorry, the first toy. The first toy at all. Wow. Probably not in the world, but I'd say in America. Sure. Um, in the USA. Uh, so it was the first toy to get its own ad on television in 1952. Can I'm super interested. You, can in you that. guess what it is? Uh, I'm gonna take a guess and say the Slinky. No. Okay. What about the Etch a Sketch? No. Mr. Potato Head. Correct. Did I get it? Did I get it? Mr. Potato Head had its own ad on television, premiered today in 1952. Now, have you seen that ad? I have not seen the ad, but I have seen the toy. But yeah. the fun fact is also that Mr. Potato Head now comes as a potato and right. you can put stuff on him and whatever. It came just with the bits and bobs, with the glasses and the hands. You had to buy your own potato. And moms had to give the kids <laughs> the potatoes for you to stick it in. <laughs> so right? stupid. But the funniest thing is, is that in the, uh, in the 80s, mm -hmm. Mr. Potato Head ran for mayor in uh, Idaho. Didn't win. No, of course. But he did get four votes. That's great. Yes. Huh. Yeah. He like launched a full campaign. Had a campaign. He was one of the people you could, or one of the things you could vote on, and he actually managed to get four votes That's as the mayor of Idaho. Yeah, I mean, honestly, today so, he would get a lot of, but the internet would kick in real quick, and he might win. Yeah. So I thought we will dedicate today to Mr. Potato Head. Great. Um, with this little fun drink. Okay. So I think we all pretty much know Mr. Potato Head uh, more popularly uh -huh. in a movie called Toy Story. Sure, I do know that. Yeah. And so I thought Mr. Potato Head is the friend of everybody in Toy Story. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's a main character. And this is actually called A Friend in Me. You got Aww. a friend in me. Sure, you Randy Newman, yeah. Exactly. And this drink comes from uh, people called At Disney Cocktails. I did look up if the Disney Drinking Society had a Toy Story or Mr. Potato Head cocktail. They did not. Maybe we they do will now. those Disney Drinking Society people, but yeah. So, um, At Disney Cocktails um, made this, and this has whiskey, dry vermouth, and Campari. I'm sorry, they didn't put any potato vibe. Oh, I guess this is not a Mr. No, potato Head. It's I not see. an actual potato I head. See. This is more the friend in me to honor Mr. Potato Head, how we know him today as part of Toy Story. So. Well, Tammy, yeah, to my friend Tammy. 
Uh, to my friend Kush. Yes, of course. Uh, may we continue uh, to dress up like I feel like I'm yes. an idiot right now. Uh, I, I feel love like I'm it. so colorful right I'll now. Look I can't even take this it. All day long. Yeah. yeah. No, you look great. Thanks. So do you. you. <laughs> Thank you. What, you look, I, I, I unbuttoned one extra button and now I'm Tom Cruise. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers to Mr. Potato Head and to you. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's mm. nice. All right. Okay. So let's get on yeah. with all the 80s goodness. Yeah. I know you said um, Cocktail was your favorite movie and also that it was the best movie of the 80s, which, you know, is debatable, but. Oh, that's not debatable. That's an objective opinion. Uh, honestly, it has launched more bartender careers yeah. uh, of all time. And like I said, when I walked on, I wanted to introduce myself, not uh, today as Kush, yeah. but instead as the world's last yeah. poet barman. Uh, so if you uh, wouldn't mind real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and, wait, I can't jump on the bar, the bar yeah, will break. No. This is, we're in Hollywood, so uh, that's how that works. So I'm gonna just go ahead and jump up here. Uh, maybe you guys can see that I'm wearing shorts. Uh, get a little closer. Yeah. And I would like to. Uh, I'm doing like a to, scene now? I'd like to do a scene real okay, quick, if do you don't mind. Scene. Yeah, beautiful. I see America drinking the fabulous drinks that I make. <laughs> America is getting stinking on the things that I stir and shake. The Velvet Hammer, the Alabama Slamma. I make drinks of juice and froth. The Pink Squirrel, the Three Toed Sloth. I make drinks so sweet and snazzy. The Iced Tea, the Kamikaze. He says Kamikaze in there because he, he has to rhyme it. Is he yeah, from Boston? No, he's not. No, but Gina Gershon's sitting right here. Oh, so then okay. he then he does this and he yeah, goes then he yeah. goes the orgasm, and he leans in and he goes. The death spasm, for some reason, that's very sexy to Gina Gurdjieff. Okay. He says, the death spasm. Conklin says, he says, hands off the merchandise. And he says, uh, and then he gets into the rest of the poem. He says, uh, 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 oh shoot, I've gotten too deep into it. Uh, we, uh, give me one second, I haven't written down. <laughs> I haven't written down. I have it all memorized. Uh, oh, uh, I make things, yes, memorized. no, no, sorry. Uh, I make things uh, so sweet and snazzy, the iced tea, the kamikaze, the orgasm, the death spasm, yeah. the Singapore sling. Yeah. The ding-a-ling, and then some lady says, the ding-a-ling! The ding-a-ling! Yeah, exactly, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he says, uh, but, uh, America, oh my goodness, America, you've been uh, devoted to uh, every flavor I've got, but if you want to get loaded, let's go ahead and take a shot. There it is, yes, thank you. That was crazy. I, I got too deep into directing this thing. Look at that. Quick shot real quick. So what I have done today, Flat Tammy. Tender. Thank you. What I've done today, Tammy, is I have uh, taken yeah. a couple drinks uh, from that poem mm -hmm. that I feel like most people uh, have never had. Heard of, heard of a few. Yeah, so the iced tea, the Long yeah, Island the iced tea. Sling. We've heard of the kamikaze. kamikaze or the kam kamikaze. We've heard the kamikaze, yeah. the Singapore sling. We've heard yeah. of the sex on the beach. Yes. Uh, have you ever had a three-toed sloth? Never had a three-toed sloth. Well, you're about to. Yeah. You are about to. I mean, that is what is we're. exciting. That's what we're up to. We're gonna make a three-toed sloth. Now, of course, the three-toed sloth has three ingredients. Uh, those normal ingredients are going to be uh, some um, uh, some rum. It is going to have some apple puckers, huh? uh, which I don't use, uh, and it's going to have slow gin. Three kind of interesting ingredients. Now, I have switched out that puckers, yeah. and I put in something, so this is going to be a uh, more interesting cocktail. I cannot wait for the throwing flare tending show that you are going to put on for, for me and for our audience at home to show your, there you go, wow, look at that, look at that! I mean, come on, wow, wow. You know, I was accepted to clown college. I was a, I was a really good juggler at one point. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off over here, Tammy, with one toe of our sloth. That is going to be uh, three quarters, or you can go a full one ounce. I'm gonna go full one ounce on this slow gin. This is a type of gin that was big, big, big in the 80s. Yeah, that's S-L-O-E. Uh, S-L-O-E, right? S -L -O -E, yeah. named after a berry, uh, Greg, our cameraman, who I think you guys all got a quick shot of if you were yeah. here early. Yeah. Uh, Greg did run on set. That is Greg. Greg did run through uh, the Every camera. time yeah. he talks about his uh, 21st birthday or his 18th birthday, he always mentions yeah. that uh, he painted the town purple uh, drinking. Not red. 
No, no, no. Uh, okay. This is purple. He painted it this okay. color okay. Uh, because okay. he drank enough of this uh, to throw it up uh, everywhere in Los Angeles. Nice. So, uh, fun for Greg. Uh, next thing you want to put in, now the original one calls for a dark rum. Love it. Uh, that usually at that point uh, in the 80s meant an aged rum. Okay. I'm going to bump this up just a touch. Do it. We, we are going to go ahead and reach back here for, oh goodness. Well, in the uh, meantime, I can say hi to Dave, who's in the house. Monica's here. Uh, we also have Matt, who's here as well. And of course, hello, Killer Vamp. Killer Vamp. Yeah. Killing it. Killing uh, it. We are going to, instead of using an aged rum, something that they would have used would have been like uh, a darker Bacardi. Yeah. Uh, we are going to instead go with dark, dark yeah, Bacardi rum. Bacardi was like super hot in the 80s. Uh, Bacardi it? has been. Uh, of commercials. Everyone wants to be on that beach. Absolutely. Everybody wanted to be Tom. Tom Cruise is basically what we're saying, yeah, and basically, yeah. that basically makes my point that yeah. Cocktail was the greatest movie. Or be of all time. with Tom Cruise at that time, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, his nose went up to here at that point. Have you seen? Have you seen him? His well, nose yeah, started here and it went down to yeah, here. What happened? Been, I don't know. I mean, listen, Age. snip, snip. He still looks great. He still looks fantastic. Yeah, that's what happened. Yes. Yeah, his, he grew into his nose uh, at that point. Uh, so uh, we have, of course, uh, one ounce of the slow gin. We have one ounce of a dark rum. I am instead of using the, there it is, uh, instead of using any kind of apple puckers or apple uh, liqueur, I'm going to reach for some Calvados, okay. which is an apple brandy. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go ahead and hit that with a full ounce or three quarters. You're just looking to get these equal portions. Uh, right there, so we have that uh, doing well. Uh, next thing we want to add uh, is going to be just a splash of apple juice. Okay. I have so a I was splash. Gonna say, you of... said three ingredients. Well, the original one called for three ingredients. I have to sweeten this up because uh. the uh, the apple uh, liqueur is so very sweet. I just want to put a splash of apple juice. Now you can adjust that as much as you'd like uh, to really get your. Uh, your cocktail to this, the level of sweetness that yeah. you want. I'm just gonna grab a little apple right here, slice this off, throw it in here, and oh. we are going to muddle just to get a few natural apple flavors out of this. You don't need to break this entire cocktail, or this entire apple up into your cocktail. We're not looking for uh, apple mush. Okay. You know just what I'm saying? Just some of the juices. Just some of the juices. Some juices is what we're looking for. Get that in there. Some juices. Juices. Get the juices flowing. Get the juices. Get the 80s juices uh, flowing. That's right. That's right. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some of this ice in here. Uh, give this a stir. Now, I never witnessed, and I've watched this movie a lot of times, never witnessed Com uh, Tom Cruise yeah. stir a cocktail. Always shakes? All, well, in that movie, he always shakes. Well, because he has to put a show on. He, he has to put a show on, and this is boring. So instead, I'm going to do my impression of Tom Cruise shaking. Ready? Absolutely. Spitting image, really. I mean, <laughs> that is uncanny. Very un uncanny there. There we go. The beard and all. The beard and all, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the very bearded Tom yeah. Cruise. Uh, I think he was had a beard once in a movie in uh, Mission Impossible. Beards oh, in, yeah. in movies like that always mean that you've been away from society for a long Absolutely. time. Absolutely. That yes. was like um, Daniel Craig and James Bond where you get stubble. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, what is oh happening? My God. Yeah, what is happening to this guy? Should we give him some help? Yes. He has a beard. Is he going to make it? Disintegrating. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. No good. Yep. Uh, we're going to throw this on one cube of ice. They did not have. Uh, the technology to make oh, ice. Cubed ice was not invented yet. I mean, it was in invented. It just wasn't. It wasn't this. We there wasn't. A, there wasn't lunatics that uh, only felt ice was the most important part. We're gonna go ahead and throw this into Beautiful. our glass. Now that is a very classy looking cocktail, don't it you is. think? Now uh, this would of course never flown in the 80s. Uh, they would have had to have something yeah. big yeah. and ridiculous. Uh, so this is the three toed sloth. So I do have. A little garnish right here. Oh. This is my three-toed oh. sloth uh, that I will love sloths. that will sit at the I mean, edge of my look drink. At look at that guy. And that is this is a three-toed sloth improved. This is the improved yeah. three-toed sloth. We're calling it. I cannot wait to. Uh, I'm gonna pass it to you very slowly it. because of course sloths get uh, spooked. Yeah. Does the drink make you slow? Is oh, that why? Right? There it goes. He oh, did get spooked. He's and he drowning. Did. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. drowning. Yeah, sloths are. I, I probably will. Yeah, just take it off. <laughs> I mean, I listen, want, I that's wanna, for the shot. I want to be able to pick it up first and get a good little. Very good. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, cheers to you. Take this little guy off. Yeah. Take him home. All right, there we go. Let's see what this is all about. It smells good. 
It's gonna be a little apple-y. Mmm. Right. Yeah. If you've ever had a real three-toed sloth, that thing is gross. It's a shot, mostly. It's a naughty apple. Yeah, this is going to be a much more interesting mm. layered effect than the uh, than the other one. Very good. And it's funny because you put the rum in there. Uh huh. I thought it was going to be like tiki, and it isn't tiki at all. It is not. It's more like an old fashioned with a twist. It's, it's very, yeah. If you put that apple schnapps in there, mm. so it's the same thing, mm -hmm. it's, it's equal parts to those other three drinks. If you put the apple schnapps in there, uh, you are going to get a much more, I'm not going to say tiki, I'm not going to ruin tiki's good name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you will get a much, much sweeter, you're going to want to take that down in one. I love it. Yeah. It's a sipper for sure. It's a sipper. It's not a downer. No, not a downer. Um, it's a sipper, not a downer. But it'll get the party started. Oh yeah, no, that'll get you going. For sure. That'll get you going It's a strong one. Sure. Yeah. Let's hear it for the boys. Let's get it by our hair. Okay, it's not that, right? <laughs> yeah. Love it. Do you know any Dire Straits? No. You don't know any Dire Straits? Money for nothing and your chicks for free. That's my, that's my favorite song in the 80s. Thank See, you. When thank I sing, you. no one claps. When well, you sing, because we all know that you can sing. Claps. When I am singing, everyone's like, "Oh my God, he he's didn't, singing!" Yeah, he didn't. He didn't break anything. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, he can do it. He actually has control of his vocals. I will put the sloth down here. Thank you. So. So. We can hit the chat real quick. Yeah, let's hit the let's chat real quick. See what's going on. They're having a. Uh, there's a whole show going on in the chat. Yeah, that's how it should be. Uh, my brother has started off people trying Tex. to guess. Who, uh, what the number one grossing movie in, in the 80s was. So oh. Everyone's busy with that. I hope someone's watching the show. Yeah, no. Um, if not, we will carry on. It's like a real bar, Tammy. It's that you yeah. and I are having our own show here, yeah. and then they are having, they're living their lives out in the chat. That's true. I love it. That is true. But, yeah. you know, we're all, we're all one big family. Come on in. So, um. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Yeah. Remember to do that. Um. So I'm gonna make you a drink now. I know, Tammy. I have been so excited all Tammy, week, really? all week. So Tammy and I last week decided that we that Tammy was gonna make one. Yes, and because you said Cocktail was the best movie of the '80s. Number one. <sighs> uh, did I say the '80s? I meant all time. Oh, Jesus. I meant uh, I meant ever. It's the greatest movie ever. E what, Should I do my speech one more time? What about Godfather? <laughs> it's fine. Oh. Where was the bar scene? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So. What I would like to introduce my drink with uh -huh. is just a little tune uh -huh. to get people warmed up. Yeah. Um, oh God. For what I think is one of the best, not of all time, not of all the 80s. Just a movie, just a movie that, um, not that one. Not say anything? Okay. It's not I Own You Sky. No, it's not I, love I, her. I, yeah, I know. Um, anyway, so uh, let me just play a couple seconds. Do of this. it to really get the party started here for what I think is one of the best movies of the 80s. Hard to dance for this. We probably all know what that is. <laughs> if you don't, I actually I don't. Will faint. I actually don't. Is that uh, is that the theme song to? Oh, is that the theme song to um, uh, Back to the Future? Yes. Yes. Oh. I told you it was hard to dance to. Whoa! There goes the blender. Put the blender See, down here. See, it has here. a life of its they own. They asked me if I would step on it. I it said yes, and they still put it there. Yeah. So, for me, Back to the Future is one of the all-time best movies, um, and I think one of the best movies of the 80s. And to sure. show what kind of nerd I am, I love it. when it comes to this movie, I actually have a couple of photos prepared for everybody oh, to, God. to blend in. Here's okay. me with the DeLorean, for example, right? Then we actually have a photo, uh, me outside of Marty McFly's house. Get out of town. Yeah. And I also, I collaged it so you can tell. That's me and then, you know, the originals at the, at the top. Uh -huh. Then uh, me in Puente Hills. This is the, this is Twin Pines, you know, when it goes off at 88 miles an hour. Yeah. That's me. And then you have me running outside of um, Doc's house, just like wow. Michael J. Fox did as well. Uh, Reenacted that as well. There are more photos. I just picked four. There are yeah, lots. Oh, so, there yeah. are lots. You, you edited that. That's um, great. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I love it. reenacted the whole thing. I mean, come on. Get out of town. Look at so, you, Tam Tam. I was looking uh, uh -huh. for some Back to the Future 
themed cocktails. Yeah. And I really couldn't find one that much. Uh huh. Two, nothing that I liked. Right. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna channel my inner Kush. Yeah, oh God. And make a Tammy Harrison original. Dang, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Tammy original! What? So. This is fly. Sorry, I mean, what do they say in the 80s? Rad. This is radical. This is radical. This is awesome. I mean, this is mind blowing, really. This is cool daddy-o, I believe they said in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> So, so what we need? I was that the sixties? Oh, yeah, a yeah. little, little early on that one. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab these tins. Yeah, hit them. Because it's gonna be a little bit of a shake. It's yeah, that's it. It's it. gonna get so exciting. Everyone's minds are gonna blow. Oh blow my off. goodness, I'm so excited. I, I love, I love your subtlety. Yes. I love that you're just like I'm humble gonna, and subtle uh, yeah, about. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Undersell, over deliver. Absolutely. I believe is the uh, yes. yeah. Yes. Or oversell, under deliver is maybe yes. sometimes how that, that goes. Yeah. Oversell, oversell, under deliver. Yeah. I love it. Exactly. Let's hit it. So um, I put a whole bunch of things in a drink mm -hmm. that I think you will like. Oh God, yeah. And that I like. It's a spin on a whole bunch of things in one. Okay. okay. So what we're gonna start with is I need some dark rum. And I think Mount Gay. Mount Gay is a good one. I love dark rum. Yeah. And we're gonna take, and I even brought my own jigger in here. Where is Get that? out of town. Look at this. Right, I mean, come on. <laughs> Look at you, Tam. We're gonna take uh, an ounce and a half. Ooh of this guy. You know I like two ounces. You want two ounces? I do. There we go. <laughs> that's, right. that's about three ounces, but I love it. I love now. it. That tiki pour was spectacular. Better not mess up my drink now. No, no, it'll be good. So next up is something that I've discovered which I'm becoming a pretty big fan of. It's called Pama. Um, so Pama is a pomegranate liqueur, but it's infused with vodka and tequila. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. So you can actually just drink this with a little bit of soda and you don't have sure. to mix anything. Easy. It's for people like me who aren't really mixologists. It's putting me out of a job. But yeah, no, I, I, I do. Job. That's fine. That's great. Putting yeah. you out of a job. <laughs> it is. It's, it's um, making it so that nobody not, has to. Not really. Find me. Um, so we're going to take an ounce of this. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to throw this bad boy in here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna take some citrus now, so we're gonna have to balance a couple of things out. So let's take one of these lemons here. Okay. I'm not gonna take lime, I'm gonna take lemon. Yeah, of course. And we're gonna take a three quarter ounce lemon. I even brought my own squeezer. This isn't even yours. Your bracelets uh, oh, the shaking clinky, are, clanky? are they're phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. So actually I might measure it just in case. I don't wanna get this wrong. Let me put this over here. I'm gonna do a little three quarter ounce action here. I've already put a little bit Yeah, I was gonna say, that's yeah, gonna that's, uh, that's, my, that's my concern, yeah. Don't you worry. You, I'm not worried. You are the customer. <sighs> you, I'm just you, gonna is calm that what you do? down. Is that what you do in a bar? You, you correct? That's literally what my job was yeah. for a long time, was no, yes, to watch bartenders do what they're doing and correct them. If you're a guest them. somewhere, no. like in a, in, a, in a bar. Um, okay, and then we're gonna take three quarter orange juice. Ooh. Lemon juice, yeah. orange juice, Lemon pomegranate juice, liqueur. Orange, exactly. Okay. Rum. And some rum. Which I is mean, if I you like. want to get super fancy, this is another homage to um, Back to the Future. Okay. Wow, pop off. Classy pop off vodka. Wow, I have not seen one of those since yesterday. And the reason why I have <laughs> this, is, I'm yeah, not going to put any of this in because it's going to declassify. But what? Put it in. Can I make my drink? I'm just saying, don't, 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 uh, don't get classy on my account. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I wanted to taste it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the reason why I brought this here is because in Back to the Future 2, uh -huh. um, Lorraine, my name is Fly's mum, okay. is married to Biff. Right, of course. Because right? Biff yeah. actually manages to get into the car at one point and actually change history yes. a little bit. Yeah. Um, and um, Martin McFly's mom is a complete, absolute drunk. Right. And is drinking handles of this in the movie. Uh, pop and it's pop off. Wow. I think this whole thing costs like a dollar. I don't know. That's that's how expensive this is. If you spend a dollar on that, you yes. are overcharged. <laughs> yeah, that yes. is a lot. That's a lot of pop. That, yeah. So, what we're going to do now is even this out a little bit with three quarter ounce uh -huh. simple syrup. So you're saying that pop-off could be used instead of you the can. rum? You can, if there's not enough, you can use it in, okay. instead of rum, or if there's not enough vodka for you in the pama, in the pomegranate liqueur. Oh, I see, You can I add see. a little bit more vodka in there I if love you it. like. I love it. Now this is where the party starts. Oh, I'm God. gonna put egg white in Oh, it. Tammy, look at you. I mean. Coming hot with the, topper, uh, the Tupperware, too. Yeah. This is a weird. It's a spinner. It's a spinner. It's a spinner. So we're gonna go completely crazy and put an egg white in here. Uh, 
if I if I can yes. tap it and do it into that Why? one. That was that way that you you don't you don't contaminate your drink. The, uh, um, if you yeah, if you, if crack, you get some of the egg yolk in, if you get eggs, like some of the egg yolk or some of the egg white, then you're not you're I not have ruining not your drink. Not been doing that. At no, all. no, no. Yeah, no. I just uh, listen. Oh my That's... god, my heart skipped a beat there for a second. Yeah, uh, always just a just a little PSA. Always crack an hey. egg into a different thing than you're than you're uh, stirring it. Here's some advice. Yeah. I didn't do that. And yeah. I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, no, Tammy is alive. Yeah. No, she uh, she's so, a little more neon than the last time I saw yeah. her. But do we have anything to wipe my hands with? Uh, Probably not. Here, I got one back oh, you here. do have something? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. All right, not gonna contaminate. No, no, it's not to contaminate. I just like if you crack the uh, if you crack the egg and the uh, the actual shell yeah. gets in there. Yeah. You gotta throw that drink out. No shell in there. You didn't do it this time. But you know, we get drunker and drunker, and then shells are just flying. It's it's like it's like World War Three. Can at that I pull point. this in here now? I, I, you do whatever you want. I just listen. well, clearly I can't do whatever I want. <laughs> no, sorry, Tim. Sorry, you do whatever you want. I just yeah. I need one ice cube, please. Yes, I got one for you. Okay. There you go. I feel my hair deflating. <laughs> Mine too. No, I only need a little <laughs> bit of ice. I'm gonna do a quick, that's it with egg white, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, with you, egg white, oh, we're gonna do you, a quick. I, I gave you as much as you needed. There you go. That's all I need. Perfect. For now. We're gonna do a quick, this is a one-time thing. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Let's froth that baby up. Yes, Just Tammy. a little bit. There you go. Nice. All right. Oh, we got Gilles in the house. Whoop, whoop. And Grant is here as well. Grant. Yes. Okay. Another Grant. So now what we're going to do is, can you just put a little bit more yeah. ice in here for me, please? That enough? Oh, no, it's the other way around, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to give it a proper. Yeah. Proper Look at you. The technique. The style, the grace, I mean, the beauty. It's nature in its best. Okay, that should do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Get off. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, now I need one of these great of course. 80s looking. From the 80s. Days. Uh can I borrow your Yep. Thank you. And I'm just gonna. Nicely, I'm just gonna actually I like your style, you're putting it into the tin, as opposed to what Kyle Tender did last week was put it into the glass. I know, that was beautiful. It though. was ridiculous. Let's Kyle Tender is a do. professional bar back. Okay, so hopefully we'll get some of that beautiful foam. Oh, look at that frothy. And it will, okay. And you don't even know yet what I've called it. I had no idea what you called. Oh yeah, you haven't even said the name. No, I haven't. The people, I'm sure, have seen the name. Oh, they might have been it. blended in for the people at home, but you don't know yet. Yeah, because no, yeah. I have brought my garnish. Uh huh. Oh my goodness. Tammy which I've made and myself. Her garnishes. And I had to put it in here so it doesn't break. I have made you, and I'm gonna put this in the middle here. Yeah. I know Greg will say put it in the middle. Yeah. I have made you. Oh my God. A hoverboard. Because this is called the hoverboard, and I wanted it with foam so that the hoverboard wow. would hover on top of the drink. When you say you made that, I were you it. you sat and painted that? I sat and painted that is actually it. very that is super talent. I that see. is so cool. Thank you. Wow. So I, yeah, I painted it. And, wow. Um, so this is a Tammy Harrison original called the hoverboard. The hoverboard. Get out of town, Tam. That's so cool. Yeah, I like it. I am excited. Oh, it smells like it's got all the right stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. It was so good. It's so. Tammy makes that face sometimes. That's true. I do. It's I do. so good. I like it. It's really good. It actually. What I need is, I thought, you know what? It wasn't working out for me. And then I thought, you know what? I've got to put some froth on there. Oh, yeah. I'll add some egg, egg white. Because I wanted it to hover. And then it's the nice. Is it's balanced. I feel like it has, uh, it has all, yeah. The uh, the rum. I know, it's really like a good drink, choice. But it's not. Yeah. It's like a sour, but it's not. It's, Plus, I can ride it like this. Plus, you can ride it like that. Exactly. Greg, are you getting this? I mean, the wetter it gets, the paint might come. Right. Let's so, take it out just so I can ride it. It's just other acrylic. Drinks. I love it. But yeah, it is, um, that's a hoverboard for you. That's a, a complete, absolute, one-to-one -one replica. This is spectacular. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. 
Good work, Tam. Yay! Really good work, Tammy. Yay! Come on, Patrick, yay! Tammy! I'm gonna drink that later. For sure. Okay. That will not survive the night. Whoop whoop. Put the hoverboard on the side. That is awesome. So Another sip of your. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, listen. Three toads sloth. I have a uh, purple drink. Or I have a blue drink back here. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Yeah. Oh, Deidre says nicely done. Thank you so much, Deidre. Yes. Cozy mom. Oh, of course. My brother said soon to be found in all quality bars across the nation. Honestly, I, I would mean, I would put that on, on a I'd put that on a uh, the on a menu. That would be pretty cool. I mean, We'd have to find a way to um, to replicate this. Yeah. Um, because this certainly makes it. I mean, yeah. Um, to have the hoverboard on top of the foam is just. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Hold that out for me. Yeah, there you go. Great camera guy. Matt says, that was so cool. Uh, oh, Kilibam says, Alberto's right. Perfect pull. So Alberto said it was a perfect pull. Really? I did a perfect pull. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much, everybody, for the praises. Yeah, well done, everybody. I mean, that's, that's great. Well done, Tam. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, then also a quick shout out to Garrett. Um, who apparently is a fan of the show, who we've seen here in the chat before, who gave me a little heart-shaped stone. That's nice. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's really, really sweet. So just to let you know that I have it here, and I'm going to be taking that guy home. Thank you so much. Okay. So, drink number three. Okay. So, uh, I'm back sticking... Back to cocktail. Uh, yeah, I'm back to cocktail, of yeah. course. It's really the only movie that was made in the 80s. Uh, <laughs> that that, that about, I know what of. What about E.T.? What about Ghostbusters? What about Karate Kid? What about, I mean, come on. Are those movies? Ugh. I mean, really, can we really call those movies? Dirty Dancing, Flash Dance. Where, are, where are the bar scenes? Uh, let's, let's move on. Of course, we have made the Three Toad Sloth. Yes. The Pink Squirrel, the Three Toad Sloth. Yeah. Uh, but there is, a, uh, there is a, uh, a, uh, a drink earlier in that poem. Uh-huh. The Velvet Hammer. The Alabama Slamma. Now, the yeah. Alabama Slamma, that's got some uh, some Southern Comfort, some orange juice. It's got it's got a few other things in it. Yeah. But uh, I wanted to instead attack the Velvet Hammer. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had the Velvet Hammer. I don't think Hammer. most people have. I don't think most people have. Yeah. Because this is the quintessential 80s cocktail. Yeah. It's all sweet. It's all sweet. I like it. Yeah. I like um, sweet. And uh, the, um, there's, a, there's a thing with bartenders. You either... Uh, you either die a Brian Flanagan, uh -huh. or you live long enough to see yourself become a Conklin. Uh, and so, I, I don't know if anybody's seen the spoiler alert, uh, Conklin eventually uh, passes away. Oh, great, thanks. Yeah. Well, that's a spoiler, you could have plugged your ears. Uh, he eventually passes away uh, through, uh, through pretty grisly means. He sli slices his throat with a, uh, with a bottle of cognac. Uh, nice, uh, classy. Okay. It's a tough movie. Mm. It's a tough movie. And mm. honestly, being a bartender, uh, my God, do I hope that I am a Brian Flanagan and not a Conklin. Mm. I think I might be more of a Conklin, though, is okay. how this is working. So oh we are trying uh -oh. to keep our spirits up, everybody. Okay. Uh, keep that bottle full. Uh, we are going to be making a uh, the drink called the Velvet Hammer, yeah. uh, which uh, does uh, require... The thing I detest most... Our little in, friend down here, glass. which, well, now since I stepped on it and turned it on in the middle of the show, yeah. I'm not loving this either. Uh -huh. uh, let's find the top. There it is. Uh, there we go. So we're going to be making this velvet hammer in here. Now, the velvet hammer, the original one, uh, it's just all, it's just, it's too much. It's just like too sweet. It's too, like, uh, there just isn't like enough to it. So I have added a couple extra ingredients to it uh, so that we can make this into a delicious cocktail. See, that's the movies. Nothing's real. That's very true. That's Apart very from, true. You know, back to the future where clearly everything is real. Clearly, every, yeah, everything came true. Yes. Uh, I mean, Biff Tannen yes. uh, is oh, clearly yes. Donald Trump. Yeah, okay. And that yeah. did happen. So, it did. Uh, he so, did become you know, mayor. Uh, just careful. And president, yes. Now, we, uh, I asked, I asked. Yeah. Uh, and production would not buy me a bottle of Louis XIII. Uh, How much is that? Uh, so, this bottle right here is going to cost us. Uh, oh, uh oh. Uh, uh -oh. This bottle. Uh, Time to go home. Time to go home. Close, uh, Louis the Thirteenth is a type of uh, is a type of cognac. Yeah. Uh, it probably costs you twenty five hundred dollars a bottle. Yeah. Uh, production wouldn't buy me one today, so I'm having to go with a different cognac. Fair enough. Uh, that is the type of a bottle that uh, Conklin yeah. uh, finishes. So if you want to make it real good. Get yourself yeah, get yourself a bottle, bottle of Louis the Thirteenth, but yeah. you're just gonna waste it at that okay. point. Now we're gonna hit this with a okay. one ounce pour of this. Why not just a touch more? What is? Oh, what are we going somewhere? We live here. 
Yeah. Uh, so we have a one ounce pour of a cognac, something yeah. nice and cognac-y. Mm -hmm. uh, we need three quarter ounce of an orange liqueur. Like that. This is uh, still, we are still within the range, uh, the, the, the range of the original cocktail, the Velvet Hammer. Yeah. I'll go ahead and throw that in here. Real quick. Next thing we want to go ahead and grab though are, uh, oh, uh, uh, to keep within the range here, uh, we're going to do half of an ounce of uh, uh, creme de cacao. Oh, yes. Like so this that. It's just stuff. a cocoa flavored That's great. Uh, liqueur. Half an ounce of that. Now, the thing that I like to add to this, uh, which most people do not add, mm. uh, is going to be some coffee liqueur. I do think that the bitterness of the coffee is going to bring out some of those more subtle flavors that we are looking for. Uh, now, you normally make that. So I do. This is, so this is my homemade coffee liqueur. It yeah. is coffee heavy. Mm. This time I want just a touch more coffee mm -hmm. uh, as we go in there. Now, if uh, chat, I'm sure chat's just going crazy. Kush, give us your, uh, give us your recipe, give us your recipe. Uh, oh, I do sure. not give this recipe out. Uh, this is my own uh, recipe, oh, but uh, there is, this is a secret thing. You're being like Don, Don I'm the Beachcomber I'm being very right much now? like Don the Beachcomber. Uh, but if you, uh, uh, if you want to find the closest one to it, I would uh, suggest finding Mr. Black. Yes. Mr. Black would be okay. the closest one to it. And add just a touch more coffee to it uh, to get that going. Now this is, that's that's ready. Okay. Uh, but the last thing Ooh, we need to that? add in here, this is ice cream. <gasps> This is as 80s as it gets. Uh, you imagine you imagine going into a bar today yeah. and saying, I would like a velvet hammer and no. just expecting that people had ice cream on the ready. No. That is a major thing. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw a scoop of ice cream in there. People have so many problems nowadays. It's gotta be gluten free and lactose right. free and all this kind of stuff right. where it's a little bit tricky to do these. No one worried I think about the that major stuff. problem is that nobody carries ice cream at a bar. And, and, yeah, and <laughs> and like the one we don't work issue. At, yeah, yeah, we don't work at bathroom. I'm gonna put a touch. Yeah. Oh, what? No. Well, the lid doesn't go in there. Uh, you can put the lid in there. That's in more. It? That's more traditional. Okay. Uh, but yeah. uh, no, keep that lid out of there. Okay. Uh, and we are going to give this a. Oh, I really hope it. Put it on soup. Oh yeah, put it on soup. That's put it right. on soup. There we go. It's on soup. <laughs> Blend that up, and there we have it. Now we are going to pour this uh, directly into our uh, glass here. This is great. The, uh, the real one comes in a rocks glass. I'm gonna pour this oh. uh, up instead. There are gonna be little chunks of ice, because of course soup has chunks in it. Yep. And that is how soup. we have that. Now I also uh, wanted to give it a fun garnish, because I think that, Tammy, you and I are gonna be going back and forth uh, garnishing things <laughs> I think uh, from now on, yes. and I'm really yes. kind of digging this. So yeah. uh, I took one of these mix coasters Beautiful. that we had, and I uh, cut out a hammer Oh, nice! Uh, right here. Okay. So I am going to throw this, it fits exactly on top of here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna fill this up just a touch more so that we are definitely at the top of our glass. There we go. Um. I'm going to throw this, uh, I went a little over. Awesome. <laughs> Nice. Because you, you want to do that in front of your clientele. Never. I'm sorry. Uh, we just want that all the way to the top. It's a, little, it's a little frothy. There we go. Okay. That's what we're looking for. We're going to go ahead and throw this uh, hammer right up here. We're going to take our microplane. Yeah. Uh, this is just a little bit of cinnamon. Ooh. And we are going to micro... I'm going to take You this. scared me there for a minute. I thought you were doing nutmeg. No, I know. I know you don't like... I mean, I, uh, yeah, I forgot that you didn't like nutmeg, so I had to change yeah. this at the last minute, but... Uh, we are just going to go ahead and throw this up here so that we can really get a hammer. Well, we're coming up with all sorts of artwork today. Yeah, we I really mean, are. Come on. Yeah, I was at uh, home. You know, now I am like a, uh, I am like a moose when it comes to uh, art. I just don't understand. I, I look like a child with a uh, with a crayon, no matter what I'm doing. So hey, uh, that stuff sells. Okay. My wife let me have an exacto knife for about ten minutes today, <laughs> and I got this. Uh, yeah, it was pretty it was pretty nuts. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in, and we are going to take this off, and we should have a velvet hammer right there on top. Ah. So now we have a look hammer that. in the That's... velvet hammer. Uh, that is a cocktail from the 80s, apparently, <laughs> that I believe I have made better. 
Uh, go ahead and give that a little sipperoo. Let me know what you think. Uh, this, the Velvet Hammer, doesn't yeah. normally have coffee in it. I think the coffee, the bitterness of the coffee is necessary. Cheers, everyone. The Velvet Hammer. Yeah. Going down. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's tough to beat yeah. that. It's tough to beat that. I mean, this would... If you're a real alcoholic, yeah. this would be fantastic in the morning. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe just uh, throw some mm. vodka and ice cream together it might be uh, even All better. That. Yeah, yeah, Vodka, yeah. ice cream, and a little bit of coffee. <laughs> yeah, skip the rest of it. Get the day started. Yeah. Now this is great. Yeah. Really, obviously super refreshing because it's, you know, cool and it's got the yeah. vanilla taste, got the coffee liqueur yeah. taste. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it's great. Well, why couldn't they have just made that like this in the movie? I don't understand. This is fantastic. Oh, by the way, my brother also said he barely recognized you, Scott, um, because my, my brother barely recognized you because you were wearing 80s clothes. Oh, you recognized me because? No, he barely recognized oh, you. Oh, yes, no, it was no. Such a I look, listen, I look, I look crazy. I just, I absolutely look like a crazy person wearing these flamboyant clothes. No, he said he uh, barely recognized you because it was such a transformation. Yeah, it is. I mean, honestly, I'm a chameleon 80s, for sure. 80s clothes. Yeah, I have a slightly fluffed hair. Uh, but this is absolutely delicious. Yeah. Danny even says totally tubular. I think that was a word in the Totally 80s. tubular. Yeah, yeah. Tubular. Yeah, I believe tubular yeah, was the thing tube to say. Not like an English person. We never said that. Tubular. Tubular. That no. wasn't. That wasn't that. But totally tubular. Tubular. Um. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Scott was born in a black shirt. Yes, probably. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I think that. Is that the is case. true. Yeah, this is this is um, my calling card, everybody. All right, so let's bring out the drinks. Yeah. And then I want to just mention a real quick for everybody who is tuning in right now. Please hop on over and subscribe to our channel. Uh, let us know if you would like to see any cocktails, maybe that are your favorites. I just want to- might whip up. Yeah, I do want to say that we will not be doing Coyote Ugly next. Uh, we, I that mean, is we could. Uh, definitely a thing. We will not be doing Coyote Ugly. We that is do, not a great bartending movie. We could do a karaoke themed night. What does that mean? I don't know. What you drink when you, when you are singing karaoke? I don't know. I just made it up. That sounds crazy. That sounds, that sounds like it's playing right into your strengths. It, <laughs> That's smart. Uh, that's smart. We should do a juggling. We should do a juggling cocktail Great. class. No, yeah, right, in my, right into my strengths. Your your strengths are much cooler. Let's <laughs> yeah. not do that. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, and then I have yours over oh, here. Yeah, that's right. Well, obviously that's the, the winner. That's of course. I, I honestly so I'm just gonna believe, have these two. I do believe that that's the case. Okay. Hold Throw on. this right here, that. and oh, if yeah, you don't mind, I'm gonna on float top. the board. Oh, fantastic. Oh yeah. Wait. Gotta get your sloth guy. Oh yeah. Get that sloth up there. there Thank you. He doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, look at that. So uh, the three toed sloth. Yeah. The amazing hoverboard. The amazing hover. Honestly, you should change it to the amazing hoverboard. The amazing hoverboard. Yeah. Uh, and then of course we have the velvet hammer. Yeah. Even though I absolutely love mine, clearly because it's the first cocktail I've ever made. Uh, I'm sure yeah. someone's probably made this recipe before. I don't know. I looked it up, couldn't find anything. Yeah. So if I'm, you go just, to, I'm gonna uh, claim it. Yeah, it's done. It is a Tammy Harrison original. I love it. I'm so in. Um, but I'm gonna say. The Velvet Hammer. Velvet Hammer, that's the a good one. Hammer. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, the that's Velvet a good one. Hammer. I will, I will give it to the hoverboard. I think the hoverboard yeah. nailed it, but, oh, uh, but the Velvet Hammer is tough to beat. Absolutely. This yeah. is really, really, really delicious. Yeah. This is a great little sipper. This is more little, this is fun. Yeah. And this, I'm just, obviously, I'm just Obviously, proud it's of. delicious, yeah. So. It's great. That was great. Yeah. Oh, your sloth, sloth fell in again. Yeah, sloths do that. Um, so, I would like to, again, remind everybody, if you enjoy our show, yeah. remember to subscribe, because you don't want to miss out. Also, we post videos during the week as well, and you'll also get notifications when we go live. So, when you subscribe, click that little bell uh, next to the subscribe button, so you don't miss out. Absolutely. Uh, next week is going to be exciting. Next oh, next week, week is great. Is uh, our Mother's Day show, so that's going to be nice. Yeah, we'll be uh, whipping up for for Mother's Day. Yeah, uh, yeah. We have a we have a a drink that I came up with called the Italian Godmother. Yeah, that the we Italian will be doing Godmother. next week. Very exciting. Uh, hopefully, I will have. Uh, my mom Susan, my stepmom Robin. Hopefully, they will both be there. Uh, I have two moms, which is pretty uh, pretty good. You know, I'm going to get my mom to tune that's in great. as well. So that should be, I think, a really yeah. nice show. Um, so I would like to thank everybody for tuning in today. 
Uh, stay tuned, stay in the chat because Kush and I will be joining you guys as soon as the screen goes dark. We'll be jumping in the chat to maybe have a little chat with you guys. Jump on there right now. You're gonna do it right now? I'm doing it right All now. Right. I mean, what? Else? Yeah. You All right, you guys, have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. What is going on? It's backwards. What? It's like the backwards. upside down. It's like the it upside is. down from that 80s show. Everybody's confused. Yeah. Um, well, you guys wanted an encore. So we give our audience what they want. That's right. We give you guys an encore. But I do need to be on my side. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Makes so sense. I want to surprise you with something that I just came up with, which is not completely true. Okay. But... We are going to keep it in the Back to the Future theme. Of course. Theme. We both picked our favorite 80s movie and we came hard. Yes. Yeah, we came, came correct. Came pretty, pretty damn hard yeah. today. <laughs> so, um, I made another Tammy Harrison Tammy original. Tammy Harrison original. <laughs> Two of them in one show. I mean, it's nutty. Oh, I unleashed the beast here. Yes, I mean, it's out. It's out. Put it back. And it is in honor of Back to the Future and it is in honor of you. Oh my, no, you're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I called it, this is one of my favorite lines from Doc in uh -huh. the movie. Damn it, um, Marty. That one. <laughs> and the second one is, do you know what the second one is? Uh, what does he always say when- when 88 kilowatts, when, Marty. When shit hits the fan, what does he say? He says, he says, fudge. I don't know what it is. Oh, he says, oh, he says, he goes, he goes, Great Scott! Exactly. Oh, he does, exactly. he does say Great Scott. Great yeah. Scott. <laughs> so, this drink is called Great Scotch. That's a very clever name, actually. Okay. That's a very clever name. Great Scotch! It is very, very simple. Marty. It's called Great Scotch. And so, what we need, of course, is some scotch. Oh, my goodness. So, we're going to do the one and a half what's ounces. Our, what scotch are you using? Old Pump. 
Old bar yeah, scotch. Yeah, I nice got this. Blended. I actually got this from one of our guests who was on our show, um, Eddie Zamora, who, who's the yum sure, yum foodie. Sure, yeah, the yum yum foodie. Yeah. He gave me a bottle of Old Par. So great. Using that guy. Oh my goodness! Yeah. One and a half ounces of that, and then we're gonna pour in a little bit of like a, a dry vermouth. Okay. So we're gonna do just a half ounce of this guy. Sorry, this is a sweet white vermouth. vermouth. That's yeah, a, that's a sweet vermouth. white vermouth. Sorry. Yeah, that's a blanc vermouth. Sorry, my dry vermouth was. Really good. This yeah. is a white vermouth. Yeah. And then I thought, wait a minute, what did Scott give me back in the day for that's Christmas? Right. He gave me homemade curacao. For Christmas, I uh, I did make that curacao for those who didn't yeah. watch. Yeah, it took me uh, it took me five six months clearly to make I've this. Clearly, I've used tons of it. Yeah, clearly, yeah. Yeah, that's um, why you texted me this week and said, what is this bottle you gave me again? That was, yeah, that that's, was true. Yeah. I did right, text well. you and say, what was that again <laughs> what, that you yeah, gave what me? What exactly was that thing well, you I gave me? I smelled it and I was like, is it triple sec or curacao? I no, wasn't sure. It so is, it's curacao, which yeah, is perfect. Perfect. Because you, this literally was the missing wow. puzzle piece uh, for my drink, the great scotch. The great scotch. Yes. And I just need a little bit of ice in here. I'm going to okay. cool this down. I have a touch of ice for you right here. Just an itty bitty bit. Thank you. You're and welcome. And we're gonna give this a real quick spin. Yeah, with Not the wrong side much. of the spoon, I love I it. I love, this is the, the right sorry, side. Sorry, the Tammy side this of the spoon. This is the right side of the spoon. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. I love it. Okay. And then we're just gonna take a quick, your julep, because that actually yeah. fits on, on here, I think. Perfect. Yeah. And what's cool wow, is, look I made sure it's that. melting a little bit, unfortunately. If you put some water at a 45 degree angle in your freezer, you have a cool little one-sided ice cube like this. So That's I thought I'm gonna so make it cool a little looking. fancy like that. And then you just pour the drink just wow. like to make it look real cool. It's really cool actually, and because yeah. because it's so cool, huh. it doesn't have a garnish. A little right. spin. The mm. ice is the garnish. It doesn't need a garnish. Yeah. This is just perfect the way it is. Less is more peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is uh, the great scotch, which I'm going to pass I on to you. I love it. What a great, what a cool looking glass. It honestly, this is the type of retro futurism that I'm into. We're like, maybe in the future, we'll all drink ice at a 45 degree angle. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. So all right. yeah, I didn't want to like bombard it with all garnish and stuff because the ice cube is kind of the cool thing. So, uh, oh, it's good. Okay. Oh, that orange sticks out. Tammy, you've that's, killed yeah, two. That's your curacao. You've, you've killed two cocktails today. I love it. That's your curacao. Oh. I mean, come on. Wow. Pretty rad there. Yeah, this one won't make it home either. This is a See? great cocktail. I mean, just celebrations. All to you, Tammy. Oh, wait, I need more. Wait, all, all my drinks have gone. <laughs> they already disappeared, see? Yeah, they all got taken. You got one right, you got one right there. Wait, there we go. I'll oh, take one's the pop-off. One's being flown in. There I'll it take is. take the pop-off. Yeah. That's noticeably right, smaller than when we go. handed it to you guys. Yes. Peanut gallery. Peanut gallery. disappeared yeah. on the thing here. Cheers to, to you, you, Tammy. To our first uh, encore, and may we have many, many more. To our first yeah. encore, thank you so much for wanting one. Yeah. And here's to many more. So uh, this is it. Curtains closed. Curtains down. We're going to uh, drink these finished, and then um, yeah, party the night away. I guess 80s, so. 80s style. So um, until Mother's Day. Until Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah. Hope you guys will tune in again next week. I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Until next time on Mixed Cocktail mm. Hour. Cheerio.